or just hello if it's not morning. Just ignore the morning part. Good day to you. Back on the saxophone jam. Haven't touched it really since uh, last time. Aside from maybe adding a couple of risers, but that's it. I might have worked on these FM chords a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, uh, let's just jump into it. Got our frog riser here up at the beginning. Sample C notes gave me to to use. Who? Gotta have that. What is this? Oh, it's a master. Okay. Um, pump up the rim a little bit. Not even EQ'd, dog. Come on. Open up my chat. In case anyone decides to partake. Okay. Now, what I don't understand is why doesn't the drum bus have uh, soft clipping? Why doesn't that have that? It would make this perfect. Unless that's what this is. Because it looks like it's flipping coming out of here. Perfect zero. Oh, maybe I'm mistaken. Start of the stream, I was um, sort of making final mix touches to another track that I'm going to send off to Ovoid for mastering. Shout out Ovoid, saw him play here on Saturday uh, on 420. It was super tight. Um, so, anyways, my point is, my mind is in a analytical realm I need to move it back into the creative um. all right all right all right all right start making a list it's gotta have a notepad Since the melody is so simple, I feel like it'd be really easy to write a progression. 
on top of it that that those notes work nicely with. It's like three notes, really. I guess there's a... Uh, is this one? Oh, it's my bass. Could be good. Some kind of... Easily fixed. Yeah, the slow end parts still sound. Yeah, it's a bit quiet as well. Gotta have some lasers. Um, okay. synth that I'm not hearing. Where is that reactor synth? I hope my patch didn't get like deleted. Oh man. That really sucks because the synth was really cool and it's gone and damn. guess I have my last video if I need to um, recreate it. That's really annoying, man. It, Reactor doesn't, like, save. Okay. I think I know what I did. For the most part. Wow. <laughs> It sounds nowhere near what it did before. <clears throat> and I had a... Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Library. Yeah. Bento box. Nope. Rounds. Delay and reverb. Okay. Uh, that really grinds my gears. Believe I had the delay post reverb. Ah, oh, man. 
Maybe it was sync instead of FM. No, it must be FM because that's where the automation was coming from. Sounds a little bit more like that. Getting there, getting there. I hate to be redundant on my uh, videos, but hey, these are the problems that we run into when our software does not work. I guess it's kind of my fault, because I, I should have known. I've experienced this before, I just didn't save it. I think it's close. Not sure about the tunings here. Sounds a little bit harsher this time around. I probably filtered it too, though. Uh, sure, I must have. There you go. Oh. Where's my filter? Okay. Uh, I'm still disappointed. Yes, boy, saxophones. Well, really just one saxophone. Too much reverb. about this <laughs> I'm mad about this shit it sounds so much worse than it did previously I don't know how I got it to be so juicy and harmonic before. Okay. All right. the same. I'll have to consult my last video to follow along the steps. <laughs> I probably had it on Pong. Very juicy somehow last time. I'm mad. I'm mad at you, reactor. I'm gonna save this. Ugh, stop. To get it back to where it was, save ensemble as.
FM Oh lead broken. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Turn down a glide a little bit on that. Still good. Glasgow. Nope. Think. Yeah, we'll do the sifting one as nicer. textural. Let's try to find some good layers for my snare. Um, in fact, I'll take the time to make this into a drum rack. Cut out the good bits. Consolidate them. I recorded this uh, with the cardboard box. I put, put, put a bunch of glass things in there and broke them with rocks and just by throwing them at each other and then I kind of sifted the, the bits around. Sometimes you can hear the scraping along the, the bottom of the box, which isn't as desirable. Not bad though. Sort of shaker. It's, it's rhythmic. Mm, yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, that's better. Those transient <clears throat> bits. that up a little. Scooch is one of the best words, I think. simple <clears throat> as far as my instruments go um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sampler nah I think it's a simpler sign stab yeah smidge also a great word just gonna sc scooch it scooch it a smidge Mm. Just gonna add a smidge of drum bus. And again, it's a real percussive. Let's see. I'm gonna make some 
some bass fills with this. Oh. Ah. sort of a run at this bar. Oh. So, what key am I in? E flat. there's only one voice I think it should be yep okay still haven't figured out how to stop my keyboard from duplicating the MIDI notes that I play into it Okay. Sounds all messed up. It's not. There we go. It's better. be fun to actually make this into a instrument rack with with a sort of an arp thing on top yeah well, I'm just gonna duplicate it add an arp to this one and uh, also pitch it up Maybe one or two octaves. It's probably two octaves. Um, don't want the drum bus to be on that second one. Uh, put a filter. And re trigger for sure. Uh, 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 oh, okay, let's see. This will help. Kind of cool. filtered the wrong one. Oops. 
Oopsies. Okay. Let's listen now. It's real quiet. Some more synths, some more harmonic content. All right, so we'll call this bass arp r r bracket. And uh Maybe a pitch hack on top of that arp. It could sound cool. Mm -mm. I need to use granulator more. Ah, oh, that's not gonna sound good. Uh, in the in the glass, yeah. Leave some space for that buildup. All right. To get a, a rim hit here. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, God, cannot click on the right thing. Okay. I uh, will just use stock reverb. No stereo. Okay. Let's see. Eh, just freeze and flatten. Okay. And now we got a nice reverse reverb to work with on the snare. Uh, so I want to use it on that, that fill measure here. Yeah. little pieces from operator bring them out even more and EQ there we go Thank you. 
I'll just feel out some ideas, some melodic ideas on that. I guess 15 decibels is a bit high. Work on the pitch envelope a little bit. It's kind of intense. There need some more elements happening in this section to really make it popping. Popping. Um, uh huh. Okay. Sound a bit better here. Yeah, that's the way. note 
going to take five minutes to load, but it's all good. I ain't going anywhere. Ah. And while that's loading, um, let's look through Serum, see if there's anything that sort of inspires me. I wonder if there's a way I could incorporate one of these growls I've I've made that are, you know, they're just so dubstep. I've never once used it in a track. <laughs> yep. It's not really the vibe at all. Also, why is there reverb? Don't know. my sniffling
original baseline. sound better on the snare. Nah. Yeah. Nope. 
especially multi-band dynamics. <laughs> Find the right spot for that up that up there. Now that I hear it again, this is a bit loud, perhaps, but <laughs> so I want to bring that out a little bit. Um, also change up the LFO rate to make this yeah check this out yeah. blip did you get it nope did not do configure mode okay there we go now we got it Let's break that down bar one half probably maybe a bar though Trying to figure out how to work with that high end. Stop. Mm. 
That's kind of dope without the noise layer, actually. Yeah, a little bit more um, nuance. The way that it clips is really nice, too. Let's get a soft clipping going here with the saturator. Yeah, it sounds a little bit less distorted now. Bring back that, that mid a little bit. Yeah. Let's do about 150. I think that's where they have it default to 150 for the low end. Um, okay, mono. Turn up the release a tiny bit. Close to distorting it. Kind of toe that line a little bit. sure what this one is doing because it's adding a bit of movement there we go really close to where it was originally that's okay now how about you yeah, I've come to like it a lot more without that. Let's, uh, let's put trash on this. Interested to see what some some more different types of distortion can do. Oh, I still have the. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah. 
from the release to the attack. Sounds like it's the attack. I don't know, though. Hmm. Stop clicking, please. I beg. This filter frequency snapping into position. One of these. Probably this multiband compressor is not helping. What well, actually is helping? Ah, come on, man. Why you gotta be clicking like that? I don't know, maybe it'll, maybe it sounds okay in the mix. It wasn't clicking until I started automating the uh, the LFO raid. Isolated. to not have it be one note below the, the bass line. Okay, so now that sounds good. It must have been the sub bass. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. We can do we can do it the sub oscillator in different instrument. one that's not going to click so much. Just do a regular old sine wave. Go master. Mono. Eh. 
and adjust the envelope a bit. Yeah, it'll be it'll be good to have it sort of just a constant amplitude. Yeah. Okay, distort. What did I do? the sound of the sub oscillator in there just uh, to maybe maybe change the envelope that it's using still clicking a bit don't know why that's happening it's kind of annoying let's try uh, FM from sub uh, where'd you go nope wrong menu that's cool well, it kind of affects different notes differently. That's just cleaner, but the, the tonality isn't as nice. Try a different warp. Yeah. <laughs> 
I like that. I just want to alleviate the clicking, bro. It's yeah, it sounds really good. It's getting closer. The FM is maybe a tad bit intense. Let me bring up another. going to be too low. Oh, yeah. tell where to fall on that cleaner or dirtier If I just have them all connect. Oh, it's got to be this. Yeah, it's got to be that. thought it was the serum. Okay, back to it. I'll kind of leave the sound for a bit and keep on editing this MIDI for now. Yep. Huh, it's funny how it kind of takes a second to readjust.
a little bit of glide up up to that one. I like this one would sound nice with convolution tone, maybe add some body to it. Yeah, it still feels just like a little bit bare. I know I said I would leave this sound alone. Hmm. <clears throat> Note number. I wonder how this is. Nothing to see here. Move along. plays off the snare, kind of lags behind, is really pleasing. Moving back a little bit. like the way that it's sounding. The sound is very close. Better save it. If I learned anything from Serum, or rather Reactor, just to be safe, better save your shit, save your patches, uh, save it. I still haven't gotten into the, the whole warping and wave transformation stuff with Serum all that much. Um, Rattle 2. Thanks for kicking it with me this morning. As I fuss over Serum and MIDI information. What are you up to? Besides watching me fuss around. <laughs> Thank you. 
better. Let's see, let's, let's bring it back to here. Okay, yeah, simpler is better. It'd be good to switch up the warp. Let's see what this sounds. I think it was 18 before. right in here the a sharp really nice at least in these headphones a bit more gliding and stuff to get some triplets in here it go in the serum and turn on the triplet setting okay so now i gotta readjust the lfo time i think yeah because now it's default to uh triplets <laughs> Shit, dog. <laughs> mm, that's some classic dubstep right there, those triplets at 70 BPM. Yeah. We'll just keep them all the same here, I think. Quarter notes, eighth notes rather. Let's see. It. I think the whatever I did has alleviated the um, clip clicking. Well, good morning, Mr. Peanut. Not only Mr. Peanut, but the one and only heroic. Mr. Peanut, uh, you know, can I ask you, what makes you heroic? Not that I doubt you, I'm just wondering. What is, is there something that you, you know, you'd like to associate with Peanuts or yourself that maybe is like heroic? As I spoke up about the clicking, I hear it again. Yeah. Oh, word, word. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just gotta find a word that nobody else has used. Mm. Dirty but smooth, that is my freaking vibe. Let's get okay, let's fix this. 
A bit, be a bit slower on that last one. Oh. Yep. Mm, or faster. That's good too. this bar that needs to be in here. Oopsie. Ah. Okay. Turn down the portamento a tiny bit. Yeah. Sexy, man. Sexy. Slowly but surely. What are you up to today, Mr. Peanut? I feel like uh, I feel like we're becoming friends. You know, I feel like you're kind of my best friend in the whole world. Nice. Yeah, I want to change up the sound of this uh, serum patch as it sort of goes along, but the only option I currently have is a FM from the sub, and, uh, well, let's just say it doesn't get me going all that much. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's just adjust this so that everything from now on is where I want it to be instead of, you know, starting it eighths instead of like some weird triplet thing okay that 
probably be easier just to consolidate. It annoys me how like when you if you like go off the grid and you just consolidate, you like make a midi clip here. It starts at one instead of being like one is before the clip starts and then like adjusting this to be where it should be on the timeline instead of like independently from that. I feel like that's a bug or something. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why they would leave it like that. share a couple of tips that I found out if you're an Ableton producer um, kind of unrelated to what I'm doing but if you click on a note and you move it around if, when you're still holding it you press control the original one comes back so it's kind of like a post copy thing it's kind of cool kind of useful another one if you're way zoomed out and you want to you want a quick zoom to a clip Say like this, um, instead of like zooming in like that, you could just click on it, Z, there you go. All right, those are, those are a couple quick tips from Jackson. Jackson's quick tips, first ever quick tips. So we'll, we'll come back to quick tips another time when I have more quick tips. <laughs> That's definitely going to be triplets. Yeah, boy. tonality. I feel like the sound maybe gets a bit repetitive, so I'll go through it and see about um, doing some automation, perhaps. Start start simple and sort of develop it as it, as it goes through this part.
Circulation. Articulation. I think it was something like that where it, I get that previous good. Uh, oh! It's gonna be way too fast. Oh no, I'm messing up all, all over the place. <laughs> Might have even been down to that low A, a sharp. Where was that? I think it was here. Yeah, yeah, okay, it starts. We'll just make the whole bar or uh, the whole beat. It has to it has to connect though. close to our walls. one out going to Denver in oh god like a week and a half <laughs> plant the black box on May 2nd and the next day I'm going to see Spongle supposedly their last band show ever the full like 11 piece band <laughs> Tipper is opening on Friday night it's going to be a maze. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I love the feeling that, like, the notes are rushing to get in before the beat, like, they're like, oh, I'm a little bit late, but I can still make it. It's cool. Oh, really? Huh. Are you, um, Colorado? You might have told me this before, but I don't remember. I've never been to a rise. It's kind of sad. But understandable, he's been going pretty hard the last like 10 years. Well, 20 years, really. I mean, he's always been going. When hasn't he been going hard? But yeah, I was just talking about that with somebody who's Oh yeah, it went through heart surgery and everything. It's crazy. I haven't been to Bloom in twice since 2016, I think. It's 
pretty cool now that they have their own grounds. It's kind of funny, actually. I played at Sonic Bloom in 2013. I won this, like, <laughs> contest thing. I can't even remember who it was through. And so they put me up, and I was, like, first on the side. Like, on the, they only had two stages, the dome and the main stage, which the main stage is now that they used to have is now, like, their th their smallest stage. So um, it's kind of funny to see how it's grown. It's that serum that's causing all that crazy low end warbling. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Okay. I'm going to bounce this first part of it. Yeah. Let's record that to audio. Cut out, oh, cut out the lows from the second part. Oh, that's a good question. I've never seen Yeti. Um, Grammatic is cool, though. Yeah, his... It's, it's great that he has that mix of, like, really fun and heavy versus, like, really deep and, like, pretty music. Um, well, Ott, definitely. Also top of my list. Thriftworks, I haven't seen him in a minute. It's been years, actually. I want to see him again at some point. Um... I've seen Odd like 10 times. Plays in Colorado so often. Which I no longer live there, but when I did, I was I got the hookup. Trying to think of who else I saw. Um, who else I've seen. Back when I was uh, 2016 at Sonic Bloom, I saw Giraffage. That was really fun. Um, yeah, it's really great just hearing somebody who's like an, an amazing DJ. You know, even if I don't like their music all that much, whatever, like listen to it, it's like he really just played like a really fun mix that kept people interested uh. hmm Yeah, 
don't know. Whenever somebody asks me my favorite artist to see live, I, it always slips, slips my mind. Definitely Spongle. Um, they're li- the last time I saw them, the full band was like one of the best shows ever, for sure. But you know their music is amazing. So they, I love their DJ sets. Also, Simon just plays by himself. <laughs> Obviously, Tipper. I mean, he's just always got mountains of unreleased material. So it's always exciting. <laughs> this con- convolution <laughs> the feeling that clean is going to be the best bet <laughs> always fun to try out <laughs> try things see what happens <laughs> quite a spread. Yeah, yeah. It's not really doing anything for me. All right. All right. talking about there's such a delay between the text and and um the stream there's like a minute or something like i don't know why but oh ganja white knight right i've never like really checked them out but they have a pretty big following it seems like sub layer clicking again oh i want to try this layer with another patch that i have in serum i feel like it would sound great I wrote, I have this track that I never like finished, but um, it's really tight, like second drop. I guess I just got psyched out by the middle section of the song and never ended up finishing it. Um, what is it called? Rubber Rubbin, maybe? I don't think so. I don't remember. It's here somewhere. I know it is. Maybe it's this one. Because it's definitely based on a reverb filter. Let's see. Oh, oh. Ah, nah, that's not it. Oh, come on, man. Killing me. Oh, it's this one. Mm-hmm. 
Well, it's messed up right now. I need to readjust the range, probably. Yeah, it sounds like garbage, but um, let's see. I might be able to make it work. And it's kind of out of tune sounding. <laughs> you can get it. You can get it dialed in. It sounds pretty nice. All right, let's try that. <laughs> it almost sounds like an air horn is like a little bit out of tune. much presence let's try um note number that's kind of not good Right, it's kind of bad. Oh, should have deleted that. Video. Okay. Okay. Probably deleted all the automation. Damn. Hey, you know what? I could just go back, 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 back in time. There we go. Whoa. Okay, the drums the drums are sounding pretty nice. Solid. Save. Pray for no crashes, please. And turn the sends off. loud okay Turn it down a bit all right I feel like I'm really pushing my luck we haven't had a crash yet Call it good. And delete. I'm scared of you, dust. Not sure what I'm going to do with this. Let's put it in the breakdown. <laughs> Shh. 
Should I keep that vocal sample? I can't tell. Because it happens at the beginning, too. Transformations are kind of nice. And uh, change is enough to not be uh, repetitive. Yeah, okay, I want to layer up this added melody. Classic bell kit that I made in FM8. I use it constantly. Constantly. Let's find a. I might try and make a different sort of tonality. <clears throat> um. Another FM8? Okay. Let's open up um, uh, Sign Mallet. Okay, kind of filled it out a little bit. It's, it's drenched in reverb. Delay, not the delay, the decay is pretty darn high. All right, so we got our tine sound. This Okay, make it a little bit classier. Drop that down, 
Another really good artist to, to always see live, um, Kill Smith, always just throws it down. I mean, all those guys, Kill Smith, um, Duffery, the Ultra Sloth team, Biolumogen. Oh, my buddy Ian Craftle, just his music is crazy, it's psychedelic. I, to me, it's sort of psychedelic, uh, crime solving. It's how it feels. Really just wacky, tabacky, interesting, mind melting frequencies, man. All Denver based guys, too. Well, not Woody, Duffrey, Chris, Biolumogen, but for the most part. Oh, yeah, also Brick Squash. Speaking of Denver. Um, super wacky, like heavy trap dubstep alien music. Um, <laughs> resonant language and cloud D make up brick squash. Just plug in all the homies. Really good stuff. Ah, hullabaloo. Come on. That guy's awesome. <laughs> Get what some of these sound like. Uh, this would be really nice for the second drop here. That's some fuzziness. Let's bring up the sax instrument. Okay, cool. Love See you. you. See you in a little bit. Bye. Sending you shorts vibes. the sound a bit because it's too um high like high loaded but play around a
there. I feel like I really nailed it the second half. Really sort of got into it. Really started feeling it. Let's make sure that MIDI note starts on one. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Just the delay filter a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I need to work on that a little bit. Um, okay. Let's listen to something while I go pee, shall we? Oh, this classic chiller. Use a little bit of down tempo vibes. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This track called Homebody released on my EP two track single. I don't know what to call it. It's called Third Eye Winks. It's on my band camp for a dollar. Come on, come here. My dog is being real naughty. Sit down. Tune up Kleenex. Sit down. Sit down. You gotta sit down. Okay. All right. All right, let's get back into it. <laughs> So we gotta get past this build. Um. We had a delay for this. Let's bring up the wet here at the very end. 
something like three and four, perhaps. Make it kind of freaky and loose. Okay. Definitely need to end this phrase a little bit more strongly. Okay, that's about right. Yeah. Yeah, me gusta esto. Uh, attach this to note number, I think that'll be kind of cool. Yeah, there we go. Let's hear a little bit more. Now. It's a glass. It also needs an EQ, by the way. Come on, baby. Yeah, just get those upper shards. Um, yeah, I, yeah, not very many people got back to me about that, but I have been thinking about the weekly producer challenges the the sort of workshop idea t where we I don't know once a week put out like a task or an idea of some kind like this week um every producer everybody's going to take this same sample and like make a loop out of it or something or like this week just bring I don't know bring in a link to a song that you're working on and do feedback or something like that um yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like this week, everybody write a house beat or something. I don't know. It could be fun. I haven't gotten a lot of interest, but I guess that that's not really the point, huh? It, I just got to start somewhere. So yeah, I've, I'm still thinking about it. Um, I hit up the Al Audio Alchemy crew that I'm, I've been in. Sort of Steve Head Flux is put together, and only one person from that group got back to me out of like I don't know thirty or forty. So. Right now, it seems like there's only a few people interested, but um, this would be a great way to sort of propagate that idea and get more people on board, I think. You know, if anybody watching is music producer, wants to be a part of some weekly challenge for free, I mean, that's all it is. It's just sort of a <clears throat> an idea to get people more, you know, just creating and, like, coming up with new ideas, possibly. So um, definitely thinking about it. I, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm gonna resolve to just start making a schedule, and uh, I'll make a new Discord server. Well, maybe I could just use the one that I already have. Um, let me pop that link in the uh, chat here for anybody interested. Um. Mm. Oh, cool. Omni just got, okay, cool. So a couple people seem to be interested here. Um, let me get by server links cold. Okay, so cool. It seems like I've got about five people. Let me pop the uh, link here. I never remember where that is. Copy. All right. Dope. Yeah, so I'm going to start thinking about different things we can do. It'd be fun. Just send in like SoundCloud links or something like that. All 
right, it sounded pretty gangster. What is this? Yeah, boy. Let's get this cleaned up a little bit. So adding some different stuff. Yeah. Is it in mono? Not sure. Let's see. It is not, and it very well should be. Okay. We do some fun sort of arpeggios and, and other stuff. Just need to watch out for the um, LFOs that kind of start and stop, which works to my advantage sometimes, not so much other times. I think the F might work here, let's see. They're five. Or two. Or three, maybe. Let's see what chord that is, actually. <laughs> Pitch envelope is kind of fun, huh? So it looks like. F's, G's, and C's. I think the F is probably the best bet. Just following along the melody. Yeah, it's kind of goofy, huh? C. We'll, we'll go with the C-sharp, I think that's probably the best one. Just quick, like... Flutters. Yeah. Can't really hear him that well, huh? Ah, that sounds cool. Yeah. change up the kick to actually work with this. There's a weird recording from this Shruthi also happening. I'm not, not sure what its purpose really is. I don't know, I keep it for now. My MIDI keyboard is still duplicating every note I play, and it 
I don't know why or how to fix it. I think it's recording on and off velocities, which is dumb because the on velocity note is like, let's see. Well, I actually don't see him. Ah, weird. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there's one. Oh. Yeah, it's weird how it only happens on some of them. Okay, now I can't find it again. Sound crazy. Oh, there we go. Dumb. Okay. This MIDI track looks like such a mess. I wonder if that's some kind of setting that I could easily change. I mean, I, I don't really th think so. So I need to make sure that these notes don't overlap to that the envelope restarts. Yeah. I could even make that organ sound a little bit bigger. We'll get to that in a sec. I need to make make sure that the kick pattern is constant. Make sure that there's a. Uh, I think it's the end of three. No, offbeat of two needs to be happening a lot. Coincide with this uh, pattern here. I also think that it inherently just has a little bit more drive and energy. That rhythm. And now mm. I like that. So I just want to accidentally like I'm placing a note somewhere else and it like it plays because I've got these the headphone thing on here that it fits in with the rhythm perfectly and now then I have to recreate it. <laughs> Purpose One of those little serendipitous things. <laughs> That's 
thing about having a very simple melody. You can do a lot of different stuff around it without having to think too much. <laughs> Probably also add some like crashes or open hi hats, sort of dangling out in the, the snare drum, the two and four. <laughs> Let's pitch this up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Isn't MIDI editing just the most fun? Anybody got um, sounds they want to send me? Huh? Beef up my, uh, my file request folder a little bit. See if anything new has appeared. Nope. Not today. Could still use these. Oh, I did use that one. I did use that one. Haven't used that one. Or that one. Better use it, you know? I haven't used it at all yet, so better just get it in there next to the other one. Which is... Where is that, by the way? Dog. What should I call it? Bark? I don't know what to call that sound. <laughs> okay. Then we got what? Such a classic. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Kind of less um, obvious and cliche when it's quieter. Yeah. Adds to the hype. Let's move it back a bit. Ah! Come on. There you go. What does it sound like pitched up an octave? <laughs> okay.
Ah, we should bring uh, uh, that other base pattern back, eh? For sure. It's too cool not to not to bring back. <laughs> Might be good to keep that um, rhythmic glass track going as well. That's what that sounds like. It's classy. I like that percussion. As well as the operator, um, those little sort of shiny bits coming from operator. Like, eh, where'd they go? All right here. Using the chorus knob, you get these neat little um, sort of metallic things. Like this one, really nice. Almost sounds like uh, wind chimes. It's just the chorus pitching down. Yeah. Let's copy that over a bit. Okay. Mm. Wacky. This uh this thing is maybe a little bit left. I'm gonna side chain it to the kick. Press. There we go. All these tracks are titled, so I can't figure out where I'm looking. It's got to be right around here. Oh, ah, one away. Dang it. Here we go. Okay. What does it sound? Oh, I put it up to 15. I side chain it to itself? No, that's not. No, no, I'm wrong. Yeah, that bar needs a little bit of work. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's suddenly a lot of Joseph Pine stuff. You must be Joseph Pine. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Oh, look. That second note is in key. All right. J Pine, thank you, sir. Oh. Nice little grumbly tuba. Let's let's put that on the, the hit there. 
<laughs> so low. I think that may even be a note high still. Try it out with a snare hit. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I like the way that that works out with the bass line. Maybe we'll we'll try nine. Droopy. Yeah, I love it. Eh, I can't tell. Nine. But let's also try it. Oh, boy. Mm, that's tough. Kind of takes away. I'll just take that last hit out. It's a fine balance between tight and loose, rhythms wise. It's nice to have other wind instruments complementing this, uh, you know, the saxophone. All right, let's hear what else. That was pretty cool. Squeaky. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to do with that. Okay. Oh. Kind of cool. <laughs> Too much going on. Everybody, everybody needs to calm down. Yeah. Pretty good so far. 
<laughs> I like that right before the beat comes in. Keep the high rhythms a bit more. Okay. All right, filter and compress. I feel like I could really turn that into like a we just distort it, it'd be really cool. Nasty kind of squelch. Mm, okay, nothing happened. Yeah. Getting, I mean, it's a little bit more present. Maybe, uh, yeah, a little fade up. Um, saturation, possibly. Try it out. Nice, nice. I went, um, well, so on 420, I went to, I went to see my man Ovoid playing at this place here in Albuquerque. And I rolled a fat blunt to bring. And I was like, um, I'm going to smoke it with him afterward. Ended up deciding to smoke out the whole crowd with it. Just pass, just I like gave it to somebody. I was like, pass it around. But um, the people were psyched on it, man. But I got, I am a lightweight. And I only took a couple tokes, man. And it got really, really high from it. Like, <laughs> really really dark really bad place <laughs> and it was just bad um yeah so that's my 420 story uh, i was really enjoying the night up until that and then i was just like had to go sit inside i was just staring at the ceiling like hardcore lasering into the ceiling like trying to maintain any semblance of you know being present in reality and uh my girlfriend was like, um, we should go. And I was like, yes, I have to leave. We have to leave now. And it was just, uh, it was really intense, man. <laughs> I thought that I would be okay. You know, I'm not that new to smoking, but whatever it was just freaking messed me up. And I had to, um, it was even like the, the last week strain that I had that I rolled up. So I was trying to be safe, but you know what? Sometimes it just gets you. Yeah, I'd never seen him before, and it's funny because uh, I'd been with Adam at a couple different festivals. Like, we met at this festival called Co Creation in Austin, like outside of Austin, that we were both playing, and uh, I had to leave like right before his set. And then, same thing at, at Pirate Party a couple years back. He played the day after I left, and uh, so it was first time seeing him and it was uh yeah there's a lot of different stuff that he kind of went through in his his set like really cool like uh techy almost like bass music it's all very clean really great production um and then like toward the end when everybody was sconed it was like he was playing some really intense bass music um and it it was messing with me so i was like i gotta get out of here all right all right so can't forget about these they're nice so, uh see about a pitch envelope oh it's okay here we go almost thought it didn't have one uh right, let's turn up the amount oh yeah
Mm. Mm. Okay, nope. Let's compress that as well. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have Adam Ovoid master some of my music that I've had uh been working on. He was tripping you out, yeah. Yeah, music can get really weird sometimes when you're like I mean even if you're not high, I guess, but especially when you're high. <laughs> music music becomes like this really like I mean it's like living. <laughs> But, I mean, that's also super cool. Like, that can make it amazing. It's been, like, five years since I've seen Thriftworks, so... I don't know, but his stuff definitely gets like scary sometimes. Like, um, I could see that for sure. <gasps> like that track Terry D is definitely like a real creepy vibe to it. Another set that I've had to take a break from. I saw Six Six the last time. I mean, his stuff is just so intense. It's like, man, he goes r really deep on his sound design, and the just the sheer amount of stuff happening. It's quite overwhelming. <laughs> Not to say that I don't enjoy what he does. Not at all. That guy's amazing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, how was that Andrelian? Remember you mentioning you were gonna go see him? been a long time since I, I think I've only seen him once actually that was at Sonic Bloom in 2013 it's been forever he was one of the headliners that year playing some pretty uh, like up tempo stuff when i saw him he was playing a lot of like those this sort of hip hoppy like electric bass music that's really cool but really nutty and sort of psychedelic <laughs> Take out the rest of these. Right, that should be good. <laughs> Just a 
big old blast. Yeah, I think that was when he first, when he had first changed over. Can't remember the name of the releases, but he was definitely on Dralian at that point and making some of the similar stuff. But yeah, I've listened to his music a little bit since then. It is. It seems a lot um, faster sometimes. <laughs> All right, all right. I don't think I checked out all the files you sent me. Oh, that's a that's a classic. Definitely got to use this balloon sound too. I have a ton of these actually in um pack that I think came originally from Schwex. Oh, that actually works really nicely with the other sound. Get them, get them to fit together a little bit. We take out the vocals because once is enough with that. to work on the sound of those chords a bit i really like the way the bass layers is are falling together um but let's see these these blasty chords let's see i'm gonna patch a little bit Freaking cats. I'm glad my dog doesn't do that. She just eats everything. I mean, you can't leave anything out or trash even to hide all the trash cans. But at least I don't have to worry about anything getting just slapped off my desk or like, you know, dishes just slapped off the counter. Oh, squeeze. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's great that you sent that to me. I played this in high school jazz band. This sing, sing, sing. <laughs> yes. Beats is probably the best bet, huh? <laughs> ah, so intense. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. I don't know. That's pretty. It's pretty. It's a lot. Ah, yes. 
Although it may may be good to get let's see to try and make some of these work get the tonality right. <laughs> Perfect. Nailed it. I don't know. Sounds like the inside of a basketball court. I don't know. Probably doesn't have a place in this song. That's fun, though. Little little flashback, little walk down memory lane. Where are we at? Oh, file requests. Some nice foley. Okay. And... that yeah the balloon transition is neat <laughs> completely forgot to work on that fm8 patch but i'll get there it's all distractions so many distractions all right let's get back to this Of low end for some reason. Oh. I'll make it a little bit stronger. Probably bring up the high end a touch. A smidge. Maybe it just also needs more sort of weight. I'm gonna duplicate this and then delete the, the MIDI here. Also edit the pitch envelope so that it's not doing that fall. Let's just turn it down. All right, E flat. Pentatonic usually works pretty nicely. Yeah, man, definitely, definitely got the thrifty vibes. Yeah, I made the synth in a different track, real creepy sort of almost glitch hop. 
Well, it's not really glitch hop, it's more... I don't know, fuck labels. But yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Dad, practice a little bit. Let's try and... Okay, so it's, you know, something like that. <laughs> something like that, but not that. Something like that. I'm pretty close, I think. I don't know. It probably just a matter of cleaning it up like I did with this noisy um, sort of bass layer. I do like some of those chord layers, though. Like, just sort of land on an actual theme, or maybe it just let it be a solo. <laughs> What this? Oh, yes, Crum more crumbly percussion. <laughs> What are you? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Bubble tube. Let's get some more weird effects in here. I have so many patches like this that are just sort of atonal effects. Um, it'd be fun to just record some of that. Let's do it. No, I have not heard of leaks. Is that an artist? Second version. It's very different. The 
oscillators are panned. Oh, somebody panned a little bit. Cool. Let's check that out. Thanks for the recommendation. Probably enough of that. Yeah, okay. That one doesn't really fit. Um, ah, damn it! I recorded my voice! Instead of that synth! Wow. Alright, alright. Well, it wasn't gold, so it's easy to, to recreate. Just pop those presets back on there. Nope. Oh, wow. Alright, let's get there. Some of those bubbles really complement the the groove. Oh, there we go. So now we got it. Now we got it. We're good. And it's probably even better the second time around. Because that's how it usually goes. Cut out some of that low stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I like those t floating tones. Plus that squelchy end sort of leads right into the... Mm. That and then the... Re I think it's a recording from the Shruthi. Yeah, this... Yeah. The high end kind of matches, which is really nice. Mmm, that one is tasty. to do more of those tri triplet bass fills. I like that. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that click is probably from that bass. I'll have to bounce that to audio and just like go through and do those micro fades. Remove those clicks. Mm. So subtle. This is when I could tell that I'm getting closer to the end of the track is when I said get to the sort of ornamental layers instead of the main the main melodic elements. But I think I feel good about all of them. Aside from editing this you know this just needs some work, this other layer. But the idea is there, and that's that's the important thing. I can always come back to that. I'm gonna add some more rims, some more offbeat sort of syncopation. Mm hmm. Okay. Ornament. There's okay. Yeah, I was getting overwhelmed with that uh, garage track that I was working on last week. Just I, <laughs> getting back on the grid and quantize music unfamiliar now that I've been working on it loosely. It freaked me out kind of. I think I started overthinking it. write down that album so I don't forget about it. another wub here to complement like the end of the phrases i feel like this first one can really yeah instead of that instead of those high sub notes uh let's see if i can find something probably serum mm. Find a different waveform with something sort of interesting upper end for harmonics. Maybe warp. Mirror is always pretty fun. Why is it spread out so much? Oh, let's turn that off. That is 
uh, must be the detuning, I suppose. Let's get back to mono. It's gonna happen once, so. Flip is a weird one. Uh, maybe comb. I feel like comb would be good. Yeah, it's just qua. Uh, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Um, not quantize. Time sync, I guess. funky yeah let's go with that oh. all right start a bit early here we go here we go type and then uh okay i'll test out some different ones uh. <laughs> oh yeah that's right that's what that is kind of a fun sound just those grains Love that texture though. Yeah. Carries over a little bit long. Kind of fun though. Oh, it's not on. Mm, powerful. Yeah, you really get some interesting timbres with the phaser. Frequency, turn the rate all the way down. Yeah, that's cool. Yes, that's the one. Let's keep that so, in case I decide to play with the synth, I still have that original sound. Okay, I, whatever. This could probably come up a bit, huh? Yeah. 
Stop that mid range from overdriving itself. Maybe it's a matter of the sub oscillator. Let's see. The FM8 sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah, uh, maybe it's just uh, glue compression. Let's try that. Yeah, because then don't even have to worry about the pesky clicking from that sub oscillator. The glide sounds like it's about right. Let me turn it down a little bit. Oh. I don't know, actually. Oh, so this still has some... go we don't get that nice uh, FM I just remove this okay so we can still have the FM without having any level on the sub that's pretty nice yeah nice okay Pretty happy with that. It's a nice uh, sort of headroom to it too, which is fun. It's not. It's not tear your face off. Ah, cool. Definitely need to do more with that. So I want to map that the the f frequency to velocity. See what happens. We should just keep doing that on the, the offbeat of four. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. Yeah, I gotta go eat some food soon. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Oh, nuts. Okay, fix that. Get there actually. <laughs> but here, perhaps. That's nice. Hmm. that one. Mm. Kind of been on a trip with this one particular super heavy um, growl that I figured out. I might try to integrate that somehow. I like that pattern though of having a second bass sound come in every other Ah, didn't have it armed. But also that one is really cool too though. What am I to do? What's a, what's a boy to do? Yeah. Layering though. I mean, that's always good. Let's tr let's try a little bit of that. Ah, see? Cool, man. Really opens it up in a sort of different way. Yeah. I have to sort of EQ that low end out of that one so they don't overlap too much. All right. Yeah. 
It got the timing pretty close as well. These are very late. Oh. Glad I figured out that I could have the sub level be all the way down, but still be sending an FM signal to the B oscillator to get that interesting uh, texture for this, this bass. Yeah. That one is just perfect. Opens up in such a nice way. Seems like they're kind of all descending in terms of like the, the frequency content sort of decreasing. It's like the phaser frequency is lower with each one of these. Not bad though, it's not a bad thing. That was just maybe a bit loud. Yeah. Just because I'm curious, I want to see what these pieces sound like with this uh, really intense distortion rack. Always need to fix my f 24 decibels of drive. Oh, f oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Talk about bass. Yeah, those upper harmonics come through really crazily. Yeah. A little bit much, even. Oh, spicy. We bounce some of these. Since those LFOs seem to be moving. They're not consistent, so I kind of got to go through and find the, you know, get the timing right. 25. Nope. Ah! Damn, that's ugly. It's very, very ugly. Let's see, keep that. Try it again. Yeah, that's probably the best one. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Ah! Nice. Very distorted. So you want a little bit of movement. Yeah, it changes a bit too drastically in tone. Oh, okay. Didn't have it soloed. Oh. Oh. Come on. God, I'm creating so many audio files recording this. Man, it hit perfectly one time. 
I don't know. Uh, okay, let's try that. That's okay. It's good. It's good. It's good. That will do. Let's try the first one. Oh. Yeah, I like that. distorted <laughs> I like it though Let's see although it may work without we'll keep that one clean yeah try it out One's been bugging me. Ah. Change the LFO right there. Yeah. Might spend some time a little bit like cleaning up that rack so that it's not as distorted. Maintain a, a little bit more clarity and tone. Uh, maybe. Or maybe I'll just take all those filters and crank the distortion up to 20 decibels. got to make sure these clips don't start until they're really supposed to because trash just puts out so many random weird artifacts I could bring that fade up a little bit it's Thank you. 
see what these sound like layered. <laughs> Cutoffs. Sick. I love them. That's your shirt. I know. <laughs> Best of both worlds. I don't know. I'm probably going to call it a day. Get some chicken in me. I am hungry. Even though I started late today. And clock in at 5.45. I just turned off my alarm. I'm a tired boy. Well, not as much because I slept more. But you know what? I was a tired boy. Alright. This is probably the last day I'll stream on this one, I think. Seeing as all the creative part is pretty much over with. I just gotta clean it up some. The arrangement is done. This ending finished up. I'll be back on Thursday to start something. I keep going at this style. Check out my SoundCloud pages and my Facebook and shit. Coming to Denver, May 2nd. Richmond, Virginia, May 10th. If you happen to be around, come on out. Um... Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>